What's up everybody? Happy New Year. It's January 10th, 2017 and today if you stay with me for a few minutes on this video I'm gonna be walking through some of the new 2017 Rocky Ridge package Silverados. So um, stay with us as we get started. We're gonna start off on this first one here. Again, this is a 2017 Silverado with Rocky Ridge package and all the ones I'm getting ready to film are all 2017. There's three or four of them we got sitting here and um, First of all, I'm no expert in trucks, so uh, feel free to comment and have a good time. But again, I'm no expert. I've been filming trucks since 2011 out here, and uh, I really have enjoyed seeing how the body styles and the technology and everything has changed over the years on these trucks. And uh, these Rocky Ridge package trucks, they sell actually fairly quick. We're out in the country in Ravenel, which is about 15 minutes away from Charleston, South Carolina, and, uh, and people just seem to know to come out here to Ravenel to buy trucks. And uh, that's why we keep them. So let's get started on the front end. This one, what a unique color. I mean, look at that. I mean, just the headlight setup. Chevrolet has really stepped up the game in the trucks, folks. I mean, you can definitely see it. I mean, look at this. You got LED lights down here. I mean, they, you know, they know people are buying aftermarket LED lights and putting them on the trucks. They added some of their own right there. You got two hooks right here. I don't know what the particular name is of the hooks. But um, I know that it's for helping pulling things out of the mud, right? So uh, let me know in the comments what those are so next time I film I can tell you. Let's look at the, uh, the wheels and everything. So the fender definitely is kind of flared out. Huge wheel well gap from tire up here. I mean, that's got to be at least 12 inches or more in space right there. This bad boy is literally jacked up and lifted compared to your regular Silverado. That's a suspension, okay? I'm going to get my camera in there as good as I can so you can see it. That's the suspension. It looks really high tech. And uh, Mickey Thompson tires look great. I tell you, Mickey Thompson puts a good looking tread on the tires. And you know they're new because when you can see those little nipples or these little things popping off, you know that's a new tire. I always say if you can get your finger in there, look at that. I mean, working it, working it, working it right there in that groove. That's going to, you know, definitely hold the mud and, uh, and really get you through the trail, as we would say out here in the country, right? Uh, good looking wheel. Black looks nice, nice and sporty. Uh, let's see what size we got here. I mean, I'm thinking these wheels are 35s. Um, I'm right to 35 by 12 and then 50 series. And then you got on there, <laughs> you got on there R20 LT. So, uh, of course, it's a 20 inch rim and uh, 35 inch tires. Okay, good looking tire there, though. Do you got your running rails going down the side? It's a K2 Rocky Ridge, if that makes any difference for you. Body's in great shape. The color, I'm really liking this color. Not sure what the name is of it, but I'll let you know in just a minute when I get over to the window sticker. And of course, it's a Z71 off-road, four-wheel drive. I mean, they got to. Um, you know, I love that feature right there where you can just kind of get that Timberland boot right in there and step up into the back of the truck, which is helpful on your trucks like that over there that are lower to the ground, right? But when you're, well, I mean, when you're, when you're that high up off the ground, I mean, I'm going to try it. Let's see. I'm going to put my foot right there. I mean, I'm extended pretty, I'm about, I'm six foot one, so I'm extended. I mean, I got to, I don't know. I might need a little step ladder here, but some of y'all country boys, y'all can get right on in. But let's, let's try this real quick and see how we do. There we go. All right. So now we're up top. No sunroof on this one. That's a good way to find out just by getting up here and looking. There's the other ones we got. Look at that one. Oh my goodness. I mean, that's the Gamecock colors right there if you're a fan of the uh, South Carolina Gamecocks. Or, you know, rock down with the white over there if you're a Clemson guy. But um, this one doesn't have any particular bed liner or anything in the back. I like how it's got the Chevrolet logo right on the front there. That looks good. The other thing I noticed is uh, there's actually no back window that opens and closes back here. So how can you throw your lab puppy dog a bone? if there's no back window that opens and closes, okay? I love the feature of the back window. Again, you got your big labs back here, like I got a chocolate lab. I mean, she's in the back, you know, you're out in the country. Throw the dog a bone, okay? That's all I'm saying, folks, throw the dog a bone. Let's get back down, let's see if we can do this. We're pretty high up here right now. So, yeah, I think it'd be nicer if you had a little 
be nicer if they had something that made it a little easier to get in the back. Like the Chevrolets, you, or the, not the Chevys, but the Fords, when you drop that down, at least they used to, they had like on the back side of this right here, they had a pole and, and a little step that came from here to here that kind of extended and dropped down and made it easier to get it back. I mean, maybe Ford, you know, uh, patent that technology, but uh, Chevy, they could do something on that. Okay, so I do think it'd be easier to get in the back of something just jacked up in that situation. Good looking truck though for the most part. Let's take a look real quickly and see what the, uh, the uh, color is in case you like it. Uh, it's hard to see. Tinted windows, uh, 5.3 V8 of course, six speed automatic. Where's my color at? Uh, oh, pepper dust metallic, okay? With jet black interior. This one's got cloth interior on the inside and I don't have the key right this moment so I can't open it. But I did want to get y'all some stuff going. Uh, one thing I can tell you, if you're shopping at trucks all over the country, I want to show you what Marchant Chevy does. It's different. And, uh, and maybe you can compete with your dealer on this price. Show them this video. Uh, we got MSRP is $49,510 plus the Rocky Ridge package. That's $10,000, $495. $10,495. I don't know, let me know folks, if you were to um, accessorize your truck like this without the Rocky Ridge package, you know, after the fact of buying a truck, how much would it cost to do all the stuff that this truck's got, you know, lifted and just all these nice accessories on it, you know, would it be $10,495, is it worth that to get the Rocky Ridge package with the wheels, tires and, you know, all the other suspension stuff. Uh, we're going to sell it for 98 over invoice though, that puts you at 46371 Added options, you gotta add that back on, $10,495, so that's a K2 package, and then that would bring your price back up again, which they don't have on here. Let's keep moving around, take a look though. So there's your maroon color, and uh, pretty similar to the other one. It just doesn't have the K2 package, this one's got the altitude package at Rocky Ridge. And, uh, and there's your, your Mickey Thompson Baja ATZ wheels with 20 inch rims. Those are 35s as well. Chrome definitely looking nice. You know, chrome always looks good. And then it matches up nice because you got the, the nice chrome side steps there. Again, altitude edition by Rocky Ridge. Um, one thing I can tell you is different is these fender flares, how they got the rivets and the uh, stuff like that in there. Okay, this uh, K2 package when it has it doesn't have that at all okay so they just left the fender alone this one they added on that nice looking fender flare so i'm liking that a little bit more on that particular one and i like the chrome but dang i really do like the black too uh, again don't have a back window that opens and closes still z71 and uh so that one had uh just kind of a silver looking dual quad pipes in the back or dual pipes this one's got the same ones or Flowmaster. look at that that's pretty cool Take a look. Can you see that? Come on, camera. Yeah, it's Flowmaster, okay? Just letting you know. Uh, tow package on both of them, get that. And then, of course, it's maroon in there, backup camera, all that jazzy stuff on the inside. The white one, oh boy. This looks pimp, Della Pimp. This looks beautiful. Oh my goodness. I mean, I like all of them, but the white, oh my goodness. This is like, whoo, man, Merry Christmas, right? This is nice. Look at that. This is altitude package as well, but just white. I mean, my. Look at those LED lights. I'm assuming those are LED that roll right through there. Goodness gracious. The white really does stand out a lot. Especially when you rock that white logo right there. And then you got the, the chrome with the white. Mm -hmm. That says money, 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 money. Man, that looks nice. Ooh. I mean, fellas, you riding down the road, you going up to the country bar or the country dancing restaurant or <laughs> wherever you go in Texas or in the Carolinas. Let me tell you, you pull up to a to a lady and with this truck right here, she's going to say, my goodness, let me hop in there and go for a ride, right? I mean, this is just pretty. Now, I got to tell you, here's what we do have that I like. This would be the truck I'd buy. A back window that opens and closes. Throw that puppy dog a bone. That's right. And it's got a nice little uh, bed liner in the back. The other two trucks over there were just the color of the truck. So this has got some nice features. I'm sure the price is a little bit more. Let's take a look. And it's got chrome handles, chrome going around the windows. Woo, it's a 2017 LTZ Crew. Oh boy, oh boy, all right. Uh, here we go, all right. MSRP 70,900. 
Factory invoice plus $98, $54,5768. Added options, $12,495 for the Rocky Ridge package there. Less the rebates, $3,000 rebate, $3,500 tag rebate, whatever that means. Puts your final, final total at $60,563 plus sales tax and registration and no deal rabbit fee, no dock fee. Okay, so this price with this package would total regular be $70,900. We're dropping you down to $60,563. Now, when it comes to terms of saving some money, you're saving money on that one. It's still a lot of money. But again, that is a lot of truck right there, okay? I and mean, again, you're talking about a $70,000 truck right here. If you got the balls and the money to buy something like this, folks, I'm telling you right now, you need to be, uh, I need to be doing what you're doing, okay? Because you are doing a good job, <laughs> okay? You're doing a great job if you could buy this truck right here and you probably got some phenomenal 800 plus credit, I'm telling you, or just your cash money millionaire, right? That's a pretty truck, folks. I encourage you. To check them out at Marchant Chevy if you're in the Carolinas. Excuse my French today on this video. If I've said a few things that may upset you, but um, we're just trying to be real in 2017 and bring you some real stuff. And I'm just going to walk through real quickly here. I'm not going to go over these trucks as much as I did the other ones. But if you see something you like, definitely comment, and uh, I'll come back out here next week and film them again. There's red, looking good. Red with black wheels, not bad. We got a nice selection of uh, trucks that look cu customized and they're brand new. Man, that's a pretty looking wheel right there, isn't it? Man, not bad. That's uh, That's got to be bigger than 20. I mean, I'm, I'm only assuming. Yeah, I'm right. That is uh, 22s, man. The wheels keep getting bigger and bigger. I mean, that truck right there with the discounts and everything, it's being sold for 48000 976 that one's got uh, some nice stuff on it too but not like the rocky ridges over there there's one more truck i want to show you again today's my birthday so uh i'm out here filming at marchant chevy on my birthday you know that's